All right, one can of our crushed pineapple in our greased crock pot. We're gonna make sure that is laying flat. I did keep all the juices because that's gonna make it extra moist and yummy. Now I'm gonna come in with one can of cherry pie filling and this is gonna go right on top of our pineapple. This is gonna be such an easy and delicious crock pot dessert. I'm gonna go ahead and grab my spatula so we can make sure you get all of that cherry pie filling out. And you can use whatever pie filling you like. You could do a blueberry and pineapple, a strawberry and pineapple. I just feel like cherry and pineapple are a great pair. Okay, we got all of that out and we're gonna smooth this out just like we did with the pineapple. Just kind of get it from edge to edge. Oh, these two fruits just smell so good right now. Yummy. All right, now I'm coming in with one box of my classic yellow cake mix, and we're gonna just go ahead and sprinkle that right on top of our cherry pie filling and our pineapple. Perfect, all right, that whole box. Bring in a clean spatula so that we can kind of flatten out our cake mix. We wanna make sure that our dry cake mix stays dry and it's a nice flat surface or else it won't cook evenly okay go ahead and just really flatten that out oh, okay even the cake mix smells good okay perfect now i have here some walnuts now these are optional but i just think they add the most perfect crunch to our crock pot dessert you can also do a pecan if that's what you like or no nuts but i think walnuts are going to go beautifully with what we're doing here people are going to go nuts for this yeah exactly now our last ingredient is a stick and a half of melted butter and we're going to go ahead and just drizzle this right on top of our cake mix just kind of making sure it touches all of our dry cake mix because that's what's gonna cook up our cake mix and create a crust for our delicious crock pot dessert oh yeah that looks absolutely incredible i'm gonna go ahead and put my lid on and we're gonna pop this on high yummy it's been three hours on high we're gonna go ahead and turn this on warm so we can keep it nice and toasty but let's Check it out. Oh my, all that steam. It smells incredible. Whoa, look at that. That cake looks perfectly done. It is time to get our serving ready, but first things first, we have to get some vanilla ice cream. This is a must if you make this dessert because vanilla ice cream is gonna complement the entire just the Kroger brand, you know, nothing crazy. All right, now it's time to dig in. And I think I'm gonna go for the center. It looks the most toasty. Oh, look at that. Perfect scoop. Oh, the cake is cooked to perfection. Oh, this is gonna be a home run. So you just grab a little bit of that ice cream, a little bit of the filling, cake topping, and then you have the perfect bite. Be careful, it's gonna be really hot. Mmm, mmm, oh, that was really good, and those walnuts really make it perfect. Mm. enjoy.